leave, Colonel. You snotty little bastard. Your Honor, I'd like to ask for a recess. I'd like an answer to the question, Judge. The court will wait for an answer. If Lieutenant Kendrick gave an order that Santiago wasn't to be touched, then why did he have to be transferred? Colonel, Lieutenant Kendrick ordered the code red, didn't he? Because that's what you told Lieutenant Kendrick to do. Object! And when it went bad, you cut cases. these guys loose! Your Honor, you had Marcus inside a bony transfer. Your Honor, you doctored the logbook. Damn it, Captain! You coerced the doctor. Consider yourself in contempt. You. Colonel Jessup, did you order the code red? You don't have to answer that question. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled to You them. want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Who's gonna do it? You? You, Lieutenant Weinberg? I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. You weep for Santiago, and you curse the Marines. You have that luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know, that Santiago's death, while tragic, probably saved lives. And my existence, while grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saves lives. You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about at parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. We use words like honor, code, loyalty. We use these words as the backbone of a life spent defending something. You use them as a punchline. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blanket of the very freedom that I provide and then questions the manner in which I provide it. I would rather you just said thank you and went on your way. Otherwise, I suggest you pick up a weapon and stand a post. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you are entitled to. Did you order the code red? I did the job. Did you order the code red? You're goddamn right I did! You ever served in an infantry unit, son? No, sir. Ever served in a forward area? No, sir. Ever put your life in another man's hands, ask him to put his life in yours? No, sir. We follow orders, son. We follow orders or people die. It's that simple. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Are we clear? Crystal. All those having business with this general court martial, stand forward and you shall be heard. The facts of the case are these. On midnight of September 6, the accused entered the barracks room of their platoon mate. They woke him up. Tied his arms and legs with tape, forced a rag into his throat. A few minutes later, a chemical reaction caused his lungs to begin bleeding. He drowned in his own blood and was pronounced dead at 37 minutes past midnight. Do you think Santiago was murdered? Private Santiago is dead, and that is a tragedy. But he is dead because he had no code. He is dead because he had no honor. And God was watching. How do you feel about that theory? Sounds good to me. I'll knock it all down to involuntary manslaughter. No deal. We're going to court. No, you're not. Why not? Because you'll lose. You want to investigate me? Roll the dice and take your chances. I eat breakfast 300 yards from 4,000 Cubans who were trained to kill me. So don't think for one second you can come down here, flash a badge, and make me nervous. You men follow orders or people die. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth. Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Who's gonna do it? You! That if this case is handled in the same fast food, slick ass, Persian bizarre manner with which you seem to handle everything else, then something's gonna get missed. In the heart of the nation's capital, in a courthouse of the United States government, one man will stop at nothing to keep his honor. And one will stop at nothing to find the truth.